Welcome to another video lesson. In this video, we will learn something about geometric sequence. With this, our objectives are to illustrate a geometric sequence and to differentiate geometric sequence from an arithmetic sequence. If you are ready, then let's start. A geometric sequence or geometric progression is a sequence where every term after the first is obtained by multiplying a constant called the common ratio. Yes, we will be multiplying a constant to get the next term. To further understand, let's have this example. The sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on. These numbers are what we call terms. 1 is your first term, denoted by a sub 1. 2 is your second term, denoted by a sub 2. 4 is your third term, denoted by a sub 3. 8 is your fourth term, denoted by a sub 4. And 16 is your fifth term, denoted by a sub 5. Ellipsis tells us that this sequence is infinite. If we try to multiply our first term by 2, we get the next term. And multiply that 2 by 2, we get the third term. Multiply it by 2, we get the fourth term. And multiply it by 2, we have our fifth term. In this case, 2 here is what we call the common ratio. Now, how do we get the common ratio? In geometric sequence, we need to find two consecutive terms and divide them. 18 divided by 9 is 2. 36 divided by 18 is 2. 72 divided by 36 is 2. And 144 divided by 72 is 2. Common ratio is denoted by small letter r. And r is equal to 2. Did you get it? Let's try the next example. The sequence 100, 10, 1, 1 tenth, and 100. In this case, let's check if there is a common ratio. 10 divided by 100 is 1 tenth. 1 divided by 10 is equal to 1 tenth. 1 tenth divided by 1 is also 1 tenth. 1 hundredth divided by 1 tenth is equal to 1 tenth. And we see that there is a common ratio. R is equal to 1 tenth. For the last example, let's try the sequence 1 sixth, 2 thirds, 7 sixth, 5 thirds, and so on. Again, let's check if there is a common ratio. 2 thirds divided by 1 6 is equal to 2 thirds times 6. Remember the division of fractions? We need to get the reciprocal of our divisor and proceed to multiplication. 2 thirds times 6 is equal to 4. Let's try the next two consecutive terms. 7 6 divided by 2 thirds is equal to 7 fourths. Even without continuing, we notice that we have different answers here. Therefore, there is no common ratio. So this sequence is not a geometric sequence. But we could also try to check if this is an arithmetic sequence. Remember that we have to subtract any two consecutive terms. So let's try 2 thirds minus 1 sixth. And in this case, we need to make this fraction similar before we proceed to subtraction. So we now have here 1 half. 7 6 minus 2 thirds. Again, make it similar fractions first. And we have 1 half. And lastly, 5 thirds minus 7 6 is equal to 1 half. 
since we have here our common difference which is equal to one half, then this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. Let's try to compare the two sequences that we have discussed, the arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. First, let's compare the operation used to obtain the next term. In arithmetic sequence, we use addition. We simply add a constant to get the next term. While in geometric, we use multiplication. We multiply a constant to get the next term. And what do we call these constants? In arithmetic, we call it the common difference denoted by small letter d. While in geometric, we call it the common ratio denoted by small letter r. In this case, you are now ready to try our activity. And our activity is to identify whether the sequence is arithmetic or geometric. Thumbs up if the given sequence is arithmetic, peace sign if it is geometric, and wave your hand if it is not arithmetic and not geometric. Are you ready? I will give you 30 seconds to observe the sequence and use your hand to show the answer. Let's start with the first one. The sequence 20, 45, 70, 95. Arithmetic, geometric, neither. 30 seconds, go. Okay, let's try if it is arithmetic first. Since we have our common difference, which is equal to 25, then this sequence is... Very good! This is an arithmetic sequence. Let's try the second problem. The sequence 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5 and so on. Let's try if it is arithmetic. We notice that there is no common difference. Let's try if this is geometric. With this, there is no common ratio. So, I must see you waving your hand. Good job! Let's try our third problem. The sequence negative 1. 3, negative 9, 27, and negative 81. Whoa! Let's see. We notice that there is our common ratio which is equal to negative 3. So, what is your answer? Peace be with you. Correct. This is a geometric sequence. Let's try our fourth example. Let's try our fourth problem. 
the sequence 10, negative 10, 10, and negative 10. Go! Let's try dividing the consecutive terms. Good job! Peace! This is a geometric sequence. Now, let's go to our fifth problem. What about the sequence 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 sixteen, and 1 32? Let's try dividing the numbers. Again, there is a common ratio which is equal to 1 half. Therefore, let there be peace. It's also a geometric sequence. Are you ready for our last problem? Then let's check this out. One third, one sixth, one ninth, one twelfth, and so on. Okay, we observe a pattern on the denominator, but let's check if our answer is correct. First, let's try if this is an arithmetic sequence. Is there a common difference? 1 sixth minus 1 third, which is equal to negative 1 sixth. 1 ninth minus 1 sixth is equal to negative 1 eighteenth and 1 twelfth minus 1 ninth is equal to negative 1 36th. In this case, there is actually no common difference. Hmm. Let's try if it is geometric. 1 6 divided by 1 third is 1 half. 1 ninth divided by 1 sixth is equal to 2 thirds. And 1 twelfth divided by 1 ninth is equal to 3 fourths. Aha! Uh -huh. There is no common difference in this problem. Therefore, the answer is yes. You should be waving your hand because this is neither. We finish all the six problems. Did you get a perfect score? If yes, then good job! You are ready for the next lesson. If not, it's okay. You can always play our video to master the lesson. And this ends our video. Thank you for watching.